Hello friends, this video will be regarding the constant motion that is found in NLM and it's a bit confusing so I will be telling a trick that I learned from my seniors. So let me tell you. The constant iteration inv involves a type of the questions which have multiple pulleys in them. Like this. For example, I am taking this one where mass M1 is attached here and M2 is attached here. See the constant relation is applied when the pulleys are actually moving. See this pull is moving and this pull is moving. So you must be remembering that teachers used to take some X, some Y in lens and then used to differentiate them. But I found a, that method bit confusing. So I had once asked my senior about this. So he had told me a method. So I want to share that method here. First of all, you must find the tensions. Okay. So let me assume tension is here T. So here T, T and T. Okay. So in this string, it will be 2T. In this string, it will be 2T. Now assume that all of the masses are going downwards. Let me take the acceleration of this as A2 and this as A1. Why are the accelerations different? It is because the pulley is also moving now. See the pulley is not at rest. Okay. So let me assume that all masses are going down. If they are not going down, then definitely acceleration would be in negative terms. Okay. So the trick is to do summation of T dot A is equal to zero. What is meaning of T dot A? T dot A means mod T mod A into cos of theta. Uh, that is taught in vectors in the basic physics. So this is the dot product actually. So the theta angle is between the T and A. For example, T is here, A is here. So the angle between them is 180 degrees. T is here, A is here. So the angle between them is for example theta. Then it will be T into A into cos theta. T dot A. So let me do for the mass M1. Draw the free body diagram. So 2T will be here and acceleration is in the downward direction. I'm not drawing actually the free body diagram. I am drawing only for T dot A, the tension and acceleration diagram you can say. For this is for M1. For M2 it will be 2T in the above direction and uh, sorry A2 in the downward direction. Okay. For M2 I have to do T dot A is equal to 0. So T that is mod T into mod A1 into cos theta. Now it will be cos of 180 degrees now applying for this so it will be 2t into a2 into cos of 180 degrees is equal to 0 summation we have to do summation first this one then this one okay so what it will be see cos 180 cos 180 gone there 2t 2t gone towards 0 so a1 plus a2 is equal to 0 so this is the constant relation that we are getting this is see first we'll get from here on drawing the free body diagram we get one equation then drawing the free body diagram of this one I get the second equation but we have two equations and three variables t a1 a2 so that is not possible to solve that's why we have to get the constant relation to solve the question so this is one of the one of the easiest question that can be asked the main thing was to tell you that summation of t dot a is equal to zero okay now second type of question that can be asked is this is the ceiling I have many pulleys like this okay now I have attached a mass M here M1 here let me take further okay and mass M2 here. Uh, in the question it is given that A1 is here and A2 is here. For example, it is here. Then they have asked relation between A1 comma A2 is equal to question mark. Always remember that this same thing can be done for velocity also. That is summation of summation of T dot V is equal to zero and summation of T dot A is also equal to zero okay so taking t's now t t t t t t t t okay till then it will be t and for here it will be 2t 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 and for here it will be 2t what i have said we have to do summation of 
T dot A is equal to zero. For M1, net tension above is 6T and the acceleration is in the downward direction. Remember, this is not the free body diagram. This is the T and A diagram you can say. So this is for M1. For M to C, tension is upwards, that is 2A and A2 is also above. So we have to do summation of T dot A is equal to 0. Doing for the first one, so 6T into A1, what is the angle between them? Cos of 180 degrees. Doing for the second, plus 2T into A2 into cos of 0 degree is equal to 0. Okay, so solving further, send T there and just simplify it you will get a2 is equal to 3a1 so this is the relation between the acceleration of the two blocks without using the constant relation we actually the method is done by using x then somewhere here y but that is a bit confusing and time consuming also so we can use this method summation of t dot a is equal to zero now please practice some question or questions on it because it will be very helpful for you okay thank you